trying. example anyway um, and so um, did you have a chance to calculate D? I, I have no idea how to calculate Oh you have to do it <laughs> hand calculate hand calculate so you have to uh, use this formula and that's right yeah to one way to yeah one way to like yourself. yes you do it is to use an Excel for example uh, and so this T is a test T and so um, all right. In the paired sample t test, we had two data points, two data points, right? And then this time we have more than two of these things. And then um, they don't, again, they unfortunately, they don't have the participant. All right. Repeated measure and over and over again. And so um, we have, for parametric statistics, we have some strict um, rules that we have to, um, or assumptions that we have to um, meet. And then I'd like to please follow me. And then if you are comfortable just looking at the screen, um, you can just enjoy me working on compute. But anyway, let me calculate transform, compute variables, and then let's say, um, times two times three. I don't think you can use minus, and so I think that's best you can do is to have under the minus two minus four times one. First changes, times two minus times one. To make it easier to see, I'll just change the decimal to zero. Let's try one of them um, later. Um, but here's a calculation, and so. This is the changes between these, okay? Like between that the time they just married. 
to the time that they reached to the fifth anniversary of Christianity. And then the second one is P3 to P2. And so that's the changes between um, the 10th anniversary to 5th anniversary. And so those pluses mean that larger number minus smaller number is plus. And so um, they, they talk together, they discuss with the wife more after five years. And so he doesn't have to act cool anymore and <laughs> we'll be the good good partners, right? <laughs> we can share concerns or um, oh no no. <laughs> um, and so for compute variables and then um, it was originally initially empty, like this. And then I made a label to make myself understand easier. I said that time four can't use minus, and so that I use under bar. And then um, time three, and so what I would like to calculate here is the differences between the 15th anniversary, the, the result from the 15th anniversary subtracted from the survey result or test result at the 10th anniversary. So going back to um, the label list, time four, either you can double click this one or you can just use an arrow. And then, because this is A minus B, right? So that B time four, just click minus, and then time three, or oh, double click this, right? The same thing. <coughs> and then, once you see that equation correct, and then um, just press OK. And then the output file shows that, you know, this I computed for you. Compute. Yes, I did. And then um, output here you see a new comment. Um, I originally got the P2, P1 wrong. I redid it, but now it's on the end. Is that a big deal? Does it have to be exactly where you had it there? I think that you, well, I forgot how to do it, but I think you can, you can, yeah, you can. Oh, oh you, 